Sonic Vista Studios is a professional studio environment located in a 400-year-old villa on top of a beautiful hilltop on the island of Ibiza, Spain. Being on the hill slope here with Pro Tools HDX, the rolling gear, good mics, all that stuff, you're gonna be making some incredible music. Ibiza is a very special island, magical island. You know, the Phoenicians were here 2,600 years ago. There's so much history around us. It's not all about the nightclubs and the after parties, you know, that's cool. But really there's like deeper stuff on this island and a very uh, incredible feeling that you get here. And that's why so many artists like to come to Sonic Vista Studios, hang out at the pool and the olive tree and the cabana, look at the Mediterranean Sea, get inspired and write amazing songs that penetrate the, the world. Um, Lady Gaga, Red Fu, Tyra Cruz, Neo, Swedish House Mafia, 50 Cent, Akon, David Guetta, Game of Thrones, voiceover stuff, Ting Tings. So basically, all the artists that come in here, they just love the gear, you know, the new IRA range, and wants to like get their hands dirty on it, you know? You're instantly jamming out. Like it's, you know, you better have a record on while you're using this thing, because or else you're gonna be missing some great parts, you know? So by consolidating your sound banks and having the ability to use your hands and your 10 fingers, you're gonna get more uh, depth in your sound and your values of construction tools. Well, it's about taking that original sound and always trying to put your signature on it, you know? Just using that, that, that snare, you know? And then tweaking that to your vibe, you know? So that's kind of like my taste because it's all about, you know, getting that bottom end right, you know? run it out into some tube preamps, you know, like change it up, add some harmonics to some, to some distortion or anything that they'll change a little bit and create more depth of the sound, even though it's the original 909 and the original 808. Yeah. Don't follow lead, you know, don't copy, get inspired, but make your own identity. For me, like for the mixing process, it's great to, uh, you know, the VT3 is a central tool now that's always uh, hardwired in my Pro Tools chain as a, a effects units, you know? Yes, I use it actually probably different than many other people because the VT3 would be a product where vocalists buy and or other production people also, but I'm using it more as like a mix engineer style where I have it going through an auxiliary send in Pro Tools and a return audio track and auxiliary send so I can record the um, effect also. And um, it's just a great way to have an outboard effect processor basically and then be able to change all the parameters and find your sweet spot or record it while you're changing parameters just to have a, you know, and edit, edit the audio later, you know. A specific one for detail is a uh, new Sander Kleinberg song that's gonna be released soon that um, we use on a vocal that was just like turned into a fantastic, amazing texture. And again, hands on, no mouses, all that stuff. So it became like a central part of the track. It's a great thing, a great tool, great, uh, vibe to get off the mouse and the screen and utilize your brains and your hands and just get inspired with a different way than of making new music, you know?